Hi. <sighs> my name is Kayla. I'm 28. And my boyfriend is an alcoholic and an addict. And quite frankly, he's an asshole, especially when he's using. Well, I mean, mostly when he's using. And I have tried everything that I could to help and support him. And you know what? I'm exhausted. I am literally at my wit's end. I took him to rehab, AA, sober living, nice places. You know, he'd get sober and it would be great, but guess what? No flowers, no trips, nothing. Nothing really changed, it was, but it was cozy, it was comfortable. We were here together and it was beautiful. And then he would relapse. I don't know why, what did I do? Did I not, did I not love him enough? Did I not try enough? What did I do wrong? I fucking tried. I'm still here and he doesn't even acknowledge that. He doesn't even acknowledge that I've wasted four years of my life for him. So I'm gonna do something unconventional. I'm going to film this entire thing from finding you to your whole detox process to you becoming sober. <laughs> Kayla, are you done yet? Oh God, I don't want it to be real. I don't want to be done with him. <laughs> I just want him back. I just want him back. God, I'm a baby. We gotta go find him. Let's go. We gotta go find him. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Yeah. Don't get, don't get killed running across the street to this random stranger. Okay. They kicked him out surprise. like the first day he disappeared, so. That's a big surprise. Yeah, well, he was with Wayne, which is good because Wayne lives really close to here. Right, his so... dealer. Yeah, it's good that he's with Wayne. Yeah. Thank God. You know what? It is good that he's with Wayne because Wayne probably held him up for a while, so put him up. Yeah, and also got him fucked up. Yes, we're close. We are close. <sighs> To finding yet another disaster. Richard or creepy meth oh, lab. God, I'm disgusting. not looking in the tents. I'm not getting out. You have to get out and do this. I'm not. I don't want to get out and look in the fucking tents. I'm so afraid down here. I hate this area. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh. Who is that? Oh. This is just like so like. Why do we have to put together know, but... clues <clears throat> to find him? Like, who is this random person? I get it, but we're close. Who does he hang out with? Whatever. How much longer are we gonna be out here? I mean, I'm gonna be here all night. If you wanna go home, you can go home. I can swing back by the apartment. Mm -hmm. Yep, because I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm just saying, this isn't fair. Oh shit, he just texted me. What? No. Oh my God, I'm gonna ping his location. He texted oh you God. after five days? We are right what here. What a douche. How oh is he Oh my God, we are battery? right here. Dana, oh my God. Okay, well he's alive. Let's I know. chill. He's just been a douchebag once again, so let's treat him sensitive. Today. I don't know, let's just try this alley really quick. See, yep, let's try this open. alley, you and I. Yep, okay, cool. Look really close. Yeah, I see a bunch of dumpsters. Richard! I, is that him? Stop it. Richard! Look for him. Dick! Oh, all right. Oh my God. Oh. Holy shit. Oh my God, there he is. Kayla, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, it's... look at him, Dana. I can't. 
Is he just sitting in trash? <laughs> hey. Oh. Hi. Kayla. Good. What? Wait, wait, wait. Sit, sit, sit down. Sit, sit down. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Oh, 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 oh. Where is it? Is she? Oh, where is it? Where is it? That? Is that it? Is that the pill? What? Yeah, there's a little guy. Dude, right. You gotta take this. You gotta try this one time. You go to the moon. Okay. This is what this will do. Yeah, well, right. I you want to go it? home. I'll and take you it. You and then. I are going to. No, no, no. Get that, babe. Get that out of your mouth. Right no. fucking up. Get it out of your mouth. Ugh. Fuck. God damn it. Do you see how embarrassing you are? Listen to me. Ever since your dad died, oh, you think that you can have some sort of excuse don't to fuck sit it. here? Hey! subject is off limits. Honey, I'm sorry. You okay? What? What do you what do you want? Okay, come on. Where are we going? We're gonna go home. Yeah, yeah I'll go. Here we go. Uh, Just stop. Come on. Come on. Oh douche go back, go down hard. What? Oh God. Oh. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm holding you up. Now. Okay. See how I'm holding you yep. up? He found his feet again. Oh, and there he goes again. Dude, I am so. Alright. Okay. Oh, oh shit, man. Smell... It's just oh. fucking like hey, so this? many angles that I could walk. What? Hey, loser! Oh, damn. Ah, so glad we could track you down, man. Hey, Chip, you're fucking. Wait, what's, what the fuck? Is that a camera? What are you doing with the oh camera? Oh my god. What are you doing? What? It's for a project, don't worry about it. Come on, let's okay. go. Okay, because I'm okay. here for okay. you. Okay, alright, alright. I'm you, buddy. Get all right, in the I'm car. getting in the car. In the car. Yeah, in the car. car. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh. Ah. Holy shit. I know, Dana. I know it smells. Jeez. Oh my god. This... How were you that close to her? Hey, there's a camera. <laughs> Food. Babe, we're going home. We're gonna get some food. Why don't you food. just rip off your shirt, dude? Okay. Oh, wow. Horrendous. This whole experience. Okay. Oh. Oh. Is it just me or does he smell worse with every step? Oh, Dana. I can't. I can't. Oh. Come on, babe. Walk oh. forward, please. Do you remember her bed? I do. Right here. Can you lay down, I please? Do. I do. Oh, <sighs> Honey, can you please take off your shirt? No. Take your shirt off right now. I don't want it. It's covered in vomit. Take your shirt off, please. I don't want it. Can you please take it off? I don't want What are you doing? I'm sorry. Just sleep, okay? Well, Richard, you've sent us on another scavenger hunt. Huh? What'd you find up there, girl? Put it in the magic bowl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. You know, you could help. I... Oh, nice. This antique tea set that mom and dad got us. Perfect place. I never use it, so I guess, yes. Respect, babe. Oh, fuck. oh dear. Okay. Well, this was lazy, Richard. I don't cook. You don't cook. Are you ever in your home? I do you open these time. cupboards ever? Do you go to the grocery store? Not really. 
here's just what we found so far. Just a little smattering of, you know. Do you have to be so smug and rude about it? Yeah, I do. Look, I don't care if you don't want I to see support him or give a shit about him. I just want you to support me. I, That's it. I've been supporting you. I have to watch you in pain all the time. And you, you refuse. You refuse to just end it. And honestly, I feel pretty degraded myself. You choose this piece of shit over like people who love you. It's no love, babe. I know I don't say thank you a lot, and I don't express my gratitude to you. But I thank you, and I love you. I promise you, this is it. This is it. This will be the last time, and I'm done. So, I promise. I do. I will. I promise. It's bad. It's like homemade shit. That's for men. Oh my god, it's everywhere. How do I not see this? How do you not see pod? this thing? It doesn't even have a it doesn't even have a wrapper on it. I don't know. I have no I, I, She just I I'm not, I'm not in my kitchen, I work full time. Do you eat? <laughs> Richard, you are one sneaky motherfucker. <laughs> Maybe a masculine energy is what he needs. Maybe I'm too weak. <laughs> nah. You are not too weak, my friend. Feel weak. Masculine energy, my ass. That guy's just got to get his head out of his ass. David. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did, um, in an alley off a of gower, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's passed out in the bedroom right now, so he's safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ten, 10 in the morning tomorrow would be good. And then um, then we'll go up to the mountains at my dad's. You too. Yeah, you too. Okay. Drive safe. How's it going? How's it doing? Hey, how are you? Uh, where is he? How's he? How's he doing? He is alive, so that's one thing, and um, he's in the shower. Okay, good. <laughs> so thank you for driving all the way down here. I know it's, that's a really long way. No, it's, I mean he's one of my best friends. It's really not a big deal. I don't, I'm I'm sorry for not being around as much as I. It's okay. I should be. I just, I don't know. You know our our drinking nights and when we used to smoke weed and all that, they've, uh, they kind of just changed. And now he just smokes into oblivion and becomes a dick, so. Yeah, I know. I live with him now, so I understand. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's amazing what you're doing, honestly. And, and if you need any help, obviously, I'm, I'm here, so. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, do you want some water? Do you want to sit down? Um, yeah, and, and yes, thank okay, you. Okay, sure, <laughs> I will wait a while, never mind. <laughs> Hey. What's up, what's Come up? In. So where is the party boy, Big Rich? What's going on? <laughs> uh, he is in the shower. You got him to bathe? I did, yeah. He was disgusting last night, full of vomit and piss. It was... <laughs> he really turned over that new leaf then. Hopefully. Okay. How are you? Good, same old, you yeah. know. Really appreciate you calling me. But not really though, because I don't want to be here, but Mom's always told me sometimes you help people, not because they deserve it, but because it's the right thing to do, so. <laughs> um, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have, I should have called. I'm really embarrassed by what happened at your jobs. I wanted, I should have asked you how everything was there. It's about as good as it can be. Yeah. And I'll still get flack for bringing in an asshole that pissed in a trash can and gave my boss the finger. But other than that, it's good. Kind of. By the way, this is uh, David. David, this is Richard's childhood friend. Hey, man. 
Um, you can have a seat. I'll get you guys some water. And, um, What's up, bro? Yeah. I feel like I know your face. Uh, the funeral for Richard's dad. Gotcha. Yeah. Good man. Good man. Yeah. Yeah. Was. Uh, oh, uh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, hey. Where is the vomit stained party boy? <sighs> I just said that exact same thing, but you said it way more negative. Yeah, I meant it negative. He's a dick. I don't have a lot of faith in this. I mean, what has it been for? Rehabs to uh, outpatient facilities? Countless drunk and disorderly. That was so embarrassing. It's not a strong chance this is going to work, but I am here. I am here. And you promised me, so. Split my camcorder. I don't know how you guys feel, but um, for me, if this trip doesn't work, I'm finally done. <laughs> Yo, hey, let me just say, my hat is off to you. I don't know how you got rich of all people to agree to go on a nature trip. Don't don't get me wrong. He he loves his trips, right? He, you got your shroom trips. You got the, the uh, acid trips, but uh, the stair trips, trips up and, up and like down that. the stairs, uh, right, uh, right, right? He do those, but mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, nature trip. We gonna need Gandhi to keep him level headed up there. Like, shit. I don't even know if Gandhi can handle Richard. Actually, I think we need like a survivalist, <laughs> like someone with like a big knife, <laughs> you know, like a Bear Grylls or a. Steve Irwin or something. That's my guy. I don't know Bear Grylls or whatever, but Steve Irwin, that's my dude, man. After he passed, bro, it still stings to this day. Oh, wow. really? Come on. <laughs> guys, if, no, you guys, I don't think that we need to put our eggs in one basket to all these heroes. Do you know what I mean? I think we can be those heroes. That's why you guys are here. It's, 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 it's what we can do. We might not all have as much conviction as you, but we're still here. And we all know that there is a good guy inside of Richard. We, we do, and we really hope we see him again. Kayla, where is my fucking sh- Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, Thanks um, for the shower. Kayla, what the fuck? Like, what is, what, what is, what is everyone doing here? We're here because we love you. Speak for Richard. Love you. <laughs> we, love we're Kayla. here because <laughs> I invited everyone here, babe, because we, well, quite frankly, you have a problem. And you know you have a problem. Dana and I were up all night going through my apartment looking for your shit. So if anyone has to hide their stash or liquor inside fucking water bottles and put them under who God knows where has a fucking problem. Do you understand? Wake up. There is no other way to put it. Oh. Oh. I, I didn't mean to come off so rude right there. Things got really serious up in here, didn't they? I was actually hoping that maybe you guys wanted to hang out. <laughs> I know um, you probably flushed my weed, but I'm sure I could get something delivered. Do you, do you hear yourself, man? What are you talking about? <laughs> Kayla, he does not respect you. I, I don't know why we're doing this. Jameson. <laughs> How are you, buddy? Uh, it's, it's been a long time. What's up, Rich? I'm, I'm good, man. Probably not as good as you as far as the intake of substances, though. Mm, touche. I have definitely had an abundance of substances. But very little this morning, thanks to these two little birdies. Rich, hey, come on, man. You're being like a cliche right now. I said very little substances. So I still don't know what the fuck a cliche is. You, you're being a cliche right now. That's what this means. This is cliche. It's cliche. Yeah, I, I think I can, uh, look, uh, cliche is like when, um, you're just an addict and an alcoholic, bro. There's nothing special about this situation. And an asshole. And even more of an asshole with the, with the substances. Though. That part. So. <laughs> and what's so wrong with that? Nobody wants to be around you anymore. You are a liability. You don't think about anybody but yourself, and it's disgusting. And honestly, you puke on your shirt and sleep in it. Ugh. Gross. All right. Good to know. I guess I've come to the conclusion that this is bullshit. And uh, not only is it bullshit, but there seems to be some sort of reality TV show 
in this apartment. What the fuck's up with the camera? I don't remember signing on for anything like that. No, we're making the greatest horror film of all time with you as the star. <coughs> Kayla, go ahead. <laughs> Babe, do you remember the camera last night that you saw in the car? You think he does? Obviously, you don't remember, but that's... We are filming everything, babe. We are filming this entire intervention. And I brought your best friends along so uh, that... Let, let, let's not be too quick to use best friends for me, all right? It, I it's way you. too much commitment for Mr. Pissing the Trash Can over here. Wait, what? This fool pissed in my boss's trash can. You are boss's my trash can? Boss's you trash soiled can. public property? I told you already that I was sorry. It was a mistake. I thought that Percocet and Vicodin felt the same, so when I took them and I came into work, I was fucking zonked, man. Just let it, hey, hey, let it go. Let it go? Yeah. You want me to let it go? Okay, tell you what, I'll let it go. I'll let it go when you apologize to my boss and the entire office. But 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 you wouldn't do that. Nah, you, you, you haven't been back not once. Not to clean out your desk, not to pick up your last paycheck, not even to clean up your own piss. You, you know who had to do that? Yeah, me. I had to clean up a grown man's piss all because he ain't got no goddamn restraint. I can't even look my coworkers in their eyes. I can't go a week without one of them bringing your shit up. You know, so, so man, go fuck yourself, right, Rich? Yeah, I second that. Okay, I think uh, what Jameson is trying to say what is to say? I, that we're all that we're all friends here, and we're all just trying to support you. And honestly, man, if if you don't just pack up your things and come on this trip with us, like we have planned for you, then I don't know. I don't know what else to really say. What trip, Kayla? What? Um, what trip I is he talking? Do you remember that house that our dad bought up in the mountains? We're, we're gonna take you there, and we're gonna we're gonna be there for you while you detox. I'm not doing that. Yes, you are, Richard. Yes, you are. Why would I go up there? I'm not. I'm not. Look, babe. All I'm saying is that you're coming on this trip right now because I don't need you to have any cell reception. Do you understand? I don't need you to have Wayne in your fucking back pocket. I don't need you to be calling any of your hangers on or your dealers or whatever the fuck, because I want you sober. I need you sober because I can't do this anymore. If you do not get help, I'm done. And I don't have to remind you that this is my apartment. That means you'll be out on the street. Do you understand? That's where you're most comfortable, though, so it's it's honestly a win-win for you. Well, then I guess it's off to the wilderness we go. Hmm. Do it. Let's uh, pack the car, right? Oh, go. Whew. Wow. Okay, so we're going. I kind of figured and hoped that this would end here, but good job. You did it. Right? I'm proud of you. Well, it looks like we headed to the great outdoors. I can think of worse places to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not much of a nature guy, are you? What? What? What are you saying? I don't know. It was this vest from. Bro, no, this this ain't that, man. Look, when I step out, I'm stepping out clean. Uh -huh. That's how I operate, okay? So don't insult my best. My best is fine. You need to be worried about yourself looking like a hipster lumberjack just fell out of Barnes and Noble. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but uh, is this is this vest even a camping vest, or is it just supposed to look like a camping vest? Wait, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Picked this vest up about three weeks ago. It was this chick I was trying to hook up with. Oh, uh, okay. She liked hiking, so, you know, wanted her to feel like you know, I was an outdoorsy type dude. <laughs> okay, well, she's a big fan of hiking, clueless in nature, because it's definitely more GQ than REI. Speaking of uh, girls, um, Dana, she's kind of cute, huh? I don't know. Wow, what's up? You, you interested? No, actually, uh, not my type at all, but I think you should go for it. Yeah, it like, I kind of felt like we was vibing, so. By all means. Let me hold that. Oh, hold it. Cool, cool. 
Yeah, so this okay. is, oh, oh here, let me pretty help. much the last of it. Nice. Where is David? I thought he was supposed to be helping you. Uh, I think he went back to go help Kayla motivate Richard. Right, the peacemaking. God bless David. So what's up with all the tents and uh, sleeping bags? I thought your dad had a house up there? Yeah, yeah, it's more like a, a 30 acre campground. Okay. It's actually pretty dilapidated, but the main house is in good condition. <laughs> it's a little bit like Goldilocks and the three bears are getting ready to have a tea party there. <laughs> Cozier than it sounds. <laughs> um, uh, there are usually caretakers there, but my dad said something about them quitting. I don't really know. He doesn't really listen. Um, I don't even know if it has electricity. Damn. But that poor bastard can sleep anywhere, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe the bears will get him. Harsh. And he too will harsh, be out man. of our lives forever. It's too harsh. Yeah, Kayla thought it would be more therapeutic if we camped him back in a rustic setting for that. Healing. Hmm. But there are bears out there. I mean, I haven't seen them when I've been up there, but there are bears, just so you know. I don't know if you get scared. I think the bears ate the caretakers. Whew. <laughs> I said I'm coming, all right? All right, I'm going to get the rest of it. so young be it the hero or bandit on the run took my chances flying too close to the sun California ain't for everyone wrote a few songs up on Magic Stallion Drive about some memories of me trying to survive Late at night if you stand quiet I literally cannot believe that these are the seating arrangements Like, Kayla <laughs> I get car sick, I don't know what to tell you okay. Babe So, you're telling me uh, we're, going, we're going up to your, your dad's place, right? And there's not going to be any weed, alcohol, pills, nothing like that. So I'm just going to have a shitty three days ahead of me. I'm just trying to figure that out. Bro, let me put something into perspective for you right quick. Uh, you were recently discovered, right? High out of your gourd, all right? Passed out by a dumpster. True story. All right, you should at least have a little bit of time to take a break for your detox and your intervention. Chill out. I'm not saying that I can't. I've already agreed to it. I was just trying to make a final appeal. There is no final appeal, Rich. We told you back at the apartment. Kayla told you back at the apartment. You either get clean or it's the end of the line. Yeah, it's about fucking time. If you ask me. Dana, mm -hmm. if you could, just for me. Okay. And, uh, just for me and the world, will you shut the fuck up for five minutes? That would be great. Okay. Right back at you, asshole. All right. I'm sorry, I can no, express my you know true feelings for five fucking minutes if he's gonna fucking talk to me like this. I don't need to drive this. this way like this, okay? Babe, you do not talk to my sister like that. And Dana, don't perpetuate this, okay? We are trying to help him. Babe, you do have a problem though, so you, we are here for you, so watch the attitude. Please. Bruh. I, I attitude wouldn't hold your breath. I would not hold your breath. I cannot imagine a universe in which Richard has a good attitude about being sober. Oh, that's great, James. You're just talking shit. Just talking shit. That's just. That's just great. I really don't understand because since the office thing, what could I have done to you? I don't know if you noticed, bro, but we ain't hung out since the work incident. So yeah, no, you ain't had a chance to screw me over again. But you would. I mean, you're just not responsible, man. Okay, Rich, I know you're coming off of stuff. I understand you're uncomfortable, but you got to throw us a bone here, all right? Let's put a little effort in, please. And, and, and we're all up here for you, man. Let's just have a better vibe, right? Do you even have a better vibe to switch to? I have a headache the size of Mount Rushmore. Wait, is Mount Rushmore big? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's, Mount Rushmore is big. It's a mountain. Okay, I thought what? it might be small. Smoke your brain cells away, man. <laughs> you gotta chill, big dog. <laughs> Does anyone ever ask the uh, alcoholic, as you all labeled me, 
what I think about all this because I personally like doing drugs and I'm not a big fan of life. Life sucks. Uh, no, no, no. Yo, life sucks. Life, life don't suck. My life don't suck. Yo, life sucks. Hey, you know what, Rich? I do think you, you know, you're a good guy. All right, I want to see you do well. You have made a lot of mistakes, man. Most of them are irreparable, but it's a good guy inside of you. I hope he comes out. You know what, uh, Rich? Maybe you should get some sleep. I don't know. Hey, um, did you tell Dad we were coming up here? Uh, yes, I did. I called him yesterday. Oh, okay. Uh, did you tell him why we were coming up here? I, yeah, I did. Hey, wow, okay, well, what did he say? I know he's never been a big fan of Richard. Okay, well. That's a, that's a surprise, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big shocker. He's not a fan, mostly because of what Dana has told him. So. Oh, so you're gonna throw the messenger under the bus? Babe, mm -hmm. I can't sugarcoat facts. Uh, oh, hey, any of y'all ever been to that uh, restaurant off Vine and Melrose? Like by where the old oyster used to be? Yeah. It, yeah. It's called Jameson. Man. Oh, yeah. They got the best pizza fries, man. I'm telling you. I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What'd you say? Pizza fries? They like fries, but you get all the toppings from a pizza. <laughs> what? Why? No, 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 no. Why? Look, 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 look. Don't do that. Look, look. And I had the same first reaction as y'all did, okay? Um, but when I sat down, saw that on the menu, man. It, look, I, I went to this place because we call it Jameson's, right? I like to go to a place, you know, where I feel, you know, already like comfortable <laughs> and welcome, right? What better way than by going to a place called Jameson's? And my name. Is Jameson. Yeah, we knew that. I don't know if that makes any sense. I mean, I'm just trying to think if I don't know if I'd go to a place just called David's. Well, you don't know that, now, do you, David? Yeah. Well, I guess I don't. Bro, two each is on. But anyway, let, let me tell you about these pizza fries, all right? Because they were exceptional, and I will tell you why. I don't think we need to know why. I'm going to gag if you explain it. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to tell you anyway, OK? All right? Because this might change your life. I'm just letting you know, right? Yeah, just, just trying to wrap my head around this. I wouldn't go to a restaurant like, called David's either. Yeah, who were you with? I was by myself. Oh, so this is a little date. So wait, you went to a place called Jameson's because your name is Jameson, and you went by yourself? Yeah. When you say it like that, I guess I do sound a little self-indulgent. Not a little self-indulgent, a lot self-indulgent, but I am here for it. Fair enough. Uh, Y'all gonna let me tell you about the pizza fries? What's yeah, up? fine. Go on. All right. So now, what made these pizza fries, like, just delectable is, like, the, ma the main thing is, look, look, you know it's a lot of different type of fries out there, right? You got crinkle cut, you got waffle fries. Sure. Uh, curly fried. Right. No. Steak fries. Steak fries. Right, right. Mm, refresh me on steak fries you, again. Like st steak fries, like uh, like a thicker cut, like it's cut like a steak, so they go like steak fries. Not sure if that's why it's called that. But. It's like a sturdy fry. St a sturdy fry, right? So so basically, because they were using these fries, it was like the perfect combination of this thick potato, man. And when it mixed with the with the pepperoni, the, the crispiness of the pepperoni was amazing and the mozzarella. That is, it'll change your life. It'll really make you reevaluate, like, why am I eating, you know, what I eat? I gotta switch it up a little bit. You know, I don't know how vegans do it. I, I put that little bit of pepperoni on mine. I go to work, man. I'm telling you, change, it'll change your life. I mean, I would try it. David. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, I'd have to be drunk, but... Sounds good. I, I was, I was drunk. <laughs> Definitely drunk. Cheeseburger. <laughs> What'd you say, Ricky D? What the you got that hangover mumble. <laughs> cheeseburger? <laughs> you do talking to yourself. Wait, wait, you, you said cheeseburger? That, that's, that's right, man. <laughs> See a home. My dad was worried about trespassers, okay. so we gotta walk the rest of the way. Alright, well, uh, you wanna grab some bags, Jameson? Do it. I think Richard should grab all the bags. 
I'm already detoxing off of multiple things. Oh, multiple right. things. I don't really feel like doing any hard labor right now. Oh, poor guy. He took a bunch of substances voluntarily, and now he doesn't want to do any physical labor. Let's clean up his mess again, huh? Right. Okay. Fine. Fine, hand me a bag. Grab one of your bags. Oh, oh, oops. Oops, my bad. My can bad. you pick that up? Um, that's what happens to you, I guess Richard, I can. you are being a dick. Come on, Rich. You got it, man. It's real nice. This shit sucks as much as I thought it was gonna suck. Really, I mean, wow. Nature, amazing. Uh, but I have sobered up a little bit and I just wanted to say that I'm sorry uh, about what I said earlier, though I think all of this is completely unnecessary. All Actually, Richard, I think this is the most necessary thing you've ever done in your life. <laughs> All right, point taken. I guess I'll just shut the fuck up. Please. I've been trying to say that to you this whole trip, but I couldn't figure out a way to make it sound polite. You can't be in a bad mood out here. Yes, I can. Easily. And I'm trying to have a good time with David. You gotta admit, this shit sucks. I mean, I'm already starting to get the shakes over here. What, are, know, they, what, what are the fucking shakes? I don't know. They happen after I drink a bunch, and then if I take a day off, all of a sudden I get the shakes. It's called detoxing. Dude, detoxing only happens with drugs. Alcohol is a drug, man. Alcohol is not a drug. It's been around forever. Yeah, so is weed, but it's still a drug. Right. So you're trying to tell me that weed and alcohol are the same as cocaine and ecstasy? No! No, you idiot! They're just saying they're both classified as drugs. Please don't do them again. Let's go! All right, let's just leave them alone. This is already kind of a fucked up situation. It got fucked is. up before we got here. You're actually just keeping it continuous, so... <sighs> All right, Dan. I'm sorry. I, I am sorry. I'm, I will say, I didn't really realize till earlier today. And, um, I didn't realize that I was affecting your life as much as Kayla's until earlier today. All right? I, I didn't, I, I, I always justified Kayla because, you know, she's affected by me, but she knew what she signed up for when she was with me. Yeah, yeah, she knew. She knew. She understood that you were going through a rough patch. I don't think she thought it was gonna go on and on and on. There's no end in sight. All right, this is, this is okay. This is okay. Rich, we're good, right? I mean, he's here, so let's not be so hard on him anymore, okay? Let's just, uh, I let's just... just keep going. That's fine. Are you okay? Do you want some water? No. Okay. So y'all really working with uh, me now. I miss it so much up here. Haven't you, Kayla? <laughs> Kayla, how much farther along do we have to go? Quit complaining. I'm... <sighs> Stop filming. You gotta sweat out the alcohol, man. Come on. Well, I took mushrooms and I thought I was in nature. Okay, well, maybe we'll so. just pretend you're on mushrooms. Okay. I don't know. Doesn't this, don't, don't these words kind of remind you of like, uh, that, uh, I forget the name, that horror movie we watched that one night. Remember that? We should do another movie now. What, man. Blood Mother? That one? Yeah, yeah, that was it, right? Yeah, don't, okay. Doesn't this look exactly like it those does, words? It does, but I could just watch it at home and I could be high while it happens. Come on! What? We high in altitude, all right? Yeah, That's yeah, high. there we go. Yeah, there we go. High in altitude. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are we close to the house or what? Yeah, are we, we got... Are we close? Cause... Do you need a little break? I would like... sit down? I would like a break, yeah, that would be... Did anybody bring... What? You know... I don't I think, know. I think oxygen? We, I think have... <laughs> Do you need a little oxygen? Should we I'd... call the park ranger? Remember when we but had to call that park ranger? We shouldn't ranger? unpack <laughs> I'm sure they still have that oxygen machine. You can make it. You yeah. Can make it. Let's, let's not unpack right now. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here, you want... I don't hear I'll even take any more banter. The only thing I'm grateful for right now is you. Good. But not this, not not the intervention. I really was just. I just can't get over how beautiful it is. Okay, oh, she making a tape. What you doing? Oh, get me, get my good side. Oh, what I'm looking like. Oh, <laughs> get me with her one time. Oh. Thank God, the fucking house. Ah. Oh, yeah, we in there. <laughs> okay. I like it. Sis, you're killing those pants. I do love those. Oh my gosh, thank you. Mm. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, got it. Okay. This won't be so bad. Uh, what won't be bad? Staying in the house? 
Because we're not. We're staying back there behind it. Why? Uh, well, it does look like the caretakers quit a few weeks ago. And the electricity looks completely off. And you don't deserve it. Nice. So actual camping, like, in tents. Ah, oh, come on. An air mattress in a tent is going to beat the hell out of an alleyway, right? We yeah. wouldn't know that. We can't say definitively. It'll be fine, babe. I'm just going to go run in and get some stuff. But if you guys want to start setting up, it's literally just right behind the deck. And I'll be right back. All you right. good? Yeah. Right. I'm good. You just oh, come learn. <laughs> <laughs> So this is camping. That's, that's great. People do this. Yes, Richard. People do this and they seem to enjoy it. Hey. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> it's gotta be better than giving blowjobs to the local biker gang for vodka in a dark alley, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I had to. <laughs> Jameson, oh. are you always like this, or is it just because this jackass is around to motivate you? <laughs> oh, oh, man, I I actually consider myself a pretty, like, angry guy. Humor allows me to kind of, like, hedge my initial response so I don't, you know, blow up at people. So. Kayla, you think I should try that? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I, I haven't always been like this. I... I guess, like, after my little brother died, I, uh, I just got, like, real angry. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's all good. But, yeah, man, my, uh, uh my little brother, uh, died in a car accident. He wasn't even driving. What happened? Uh, was it drunk driving? <laughs> It's one of those things. And... If a 90-year-old woman plowing through a fucking red light and hitting another car when she shouldn't even been fucking driving is just one of those things, then then I, hey, I guess so. I, uh, I didn't know, man. I, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to discount anything. But no harm, no foul, right? My little brother, <laughs> he was the good one. <laughs> Ronnie was the best, man. Like, straight-A student. Never touched drugs, alcohol, none of that. He was an Eagle Scout. Straight edge, man. He volunteered for this local organization that, uh, that helped homeless teens. And, uh, it doesn't make you a worse person or better just because you wanted to live your life the way you wanted to. You know, my therapist, multiple occasions, she, she told me the same exact thing, man. But I still can't bring myself to believe it. <sighs> when my little brother died, I honestly feel like it was a mistake, man. God doesn't make mistakes. Hey, yo, well, if God didn't make a mistake, then somebody else fucking did, because Ronnie should still be here, man. So yeah, that's uh, that's why I use humor, cause like uh, I'm trying to think about life and just how fragile it is. It's like it's just too much, man. So I am sorry. I I uh, didn't know that, Jameson. Uh, yeah. Me too, Rich. But yeah, man, I, I ain't come here to put it like a damper on the whole journey through the wilderness with our good brother Rich here. So uh, enough about me. All right. Is, uh, is that why you treat me the way you do? Because maybe your brother should be here instead of me. You know what, Rich? You must be sober. Because that's the most clarity I heard from you since 
back before the work incident, right? And yeah, man, I, you know, I think there is a, l- a little bit of resentment. I just don't get why people that piss their life away, right, just get to keep pissing it away when people who deserve to be here aren't, right? And that made me question God. So, bro, it, you know, I, I'm angry at you, but it ain't got nothing to do with the work, bro. It's because you made me question God. And, you, and your screw up after screw up after screw up of a life is just another drop in the bucket of my evidence that fucking God don't exist. Jameson, you don't have to keep talking about it. Look, I'm not going to make an excuse, but he's an alcoholic and a drug addict. And it's a disease. This, hey, I'm going to just have to take your word on that whole disease shit. All right? Cancer is a disease. Mesothelioma is a damn disease. This motherfucker just a lazy shit. I, I second that. I, I hear you, man, but I, I, if that's the case, then, then a lot of people who are fucked up, they, they, they would just stop drinking. They wouldn't need a 12-step program or, or, or rehab. Your disease is curable, and the cure is like two miles from your apartment, man. But I, I agree with what he's saying. It's think about all those stories we read all the time about our friends or celebrities ODing and they die. It's there's something. It's, it's not, not random. There's something in their choose. head. No, it's it's more than that. It's not their fault. It's not their fault because they chose to stay sick. People with cancer don't choose to stay sick. I just wanted the voices to stop. What voices, Rich? Voices. The ones that say that you're not good enough and you're never going to be good enough and that life sucks and it's always going to suck and there's nothing you can do about it. When I drink, though, you know, when I, when I smoke, snort, pop, Finally, feel okay. That's all I've ever wanted was to feel okay. It will be okay. So, you know, who wants food? <laughs> well, yeah, we should eat something. Yeah. <clears throat> Hey, Rich, can we talk real quick? So you said something earlier um, about how you've been feeling and uh, how you want to stop the voices. Remember my dad? Yeah. He's a funny guy. He started having problems after I left home. I try not to think about it very much, but when I do, I realize he sounded a lot like you. He was looking for distractions, you know? Whether he was home, at work, but he had these voices. He said they would tell him he wasn't worth it. That nothing was worth it. And he was just trying to silence them too. Does he drink like me? He didn't drink. Didn't? He killed himself. He didn't drink. He didn't do drugs. He was just uh, looking for a way to silence the voices. And I think he was just looking until he found a way. I'm not trying to kill myself. You drink more than anyone I've ever seen, man. You do excessive amounts of any drug that's handed to you. So. 
So if, if you're not looking for death, then I don't know what the hell you're looking for, man, because that's the only possible thing that you're going to find in every dark alley or hole that you crawl in. I guess I, I think it would be okay if I wasn't here anymore. I think then maybe Kayla could find someone who wasn't an idiot and then my my friends wouldn't have to deal with my bullshit, you know? You're wrong, Rich. You're wrong. We're here because we love you. Because you are worth it. And... I didn't get to say that to my dad. But I sure as hell can tell you. I'm not going to watch you kill yourself. You can't. Howdy. Oh, what the? What the hell? Hey, uh, hi, who are you? I'm sorry, this is private property, man. You're trespassing. Well, I don't really believe that anyone can own a piece of the earth especially not a piece of the earth that the Father hath created. I mean, really, we're all just stewards of the planet till he calls us home. I appreciate you had that perspective, right? Uh, what the hell are you doing here? My name is Eli, and I am on a pilgrimage. I am just so happy to see you all. I haven't seen anybody in days, and well, now I know why the Father led me into the wilderness. It was so that I could meet you. Beautiful people. How many days you, you said you've been out here? Two or three. Have you eaten? Kayla, stranger danger. I agree. Dude, it's okay. I mean, look at him, he's hurt. Who cares? I'm so sorry about that. What happened to your hand? Oh, this, it's just a mishap with the tree branch. It's nothing serious. I'm all right. And I, I assure you that I am of no harm to any of y'all. Well, we just finished eating, so I'm going to get you a plate, OK? Sure. Eli, was it? Um, yeah, you mentioned a, a pilgrimage. Is, is that why you're here? Yes. Bless you. I was, I was, I was lost. I had lost my way. And then I felt the Father, and the Father led me into the wilderness so that I could find my purpose. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Uh, so you wander out, out into the wilderness. Did, did the Father, like, give you GPS directions or some shit? Like, <laughs> Yahweh said to Abraham, leave your home, your country, your kinsmen, and your father's home, and I will show you a new land. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> we got a space cadet on our hands, right? <laughs> you said something about being lost. I had no purpose. I was adrift. I was a lonely, desolate soul. And I did whatever I could to fulfill myself. Alcohol, drugs, sex. But none of it brought me what I needed. And then I found the Father. And the Father loved me. The Father needed me. And the Father showed me my purpose. And it's you. You are my purpose. <laughs> well, damn, Rich. We had this whole intervention. All you needed was the Father the whole damn time. <laughs> <laughs> You're very funny, my friend. But you use your humor to mask your anger and your hurt. What'd you just say to me? You, you, you been watching us? He been, how long you been watching us? Okay, come on. I have no need to watch. Father shows me what I need to see and leads me to where I need to be. Only the, the spotless, Sheep, free of blemish, ever get to meet the Father? Now tell me. 
Are you white as snow? Some kind of racist bullshit? Oh, 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 hey, hey father gonna lead you to get your ass beat, boy! Oh. What's up? I meant no offense, my friend. It's your friend. Those who will not listen and receive that greeting, leave them and shake the dust off your feet. Judgment is swift, my friend. Cleanse thyself, lest ye be cleansed. Okay, so, who wants s'mores? Or who wants to pack everything up and get the fuck out of here as soon as possible? Yo, if he come back here, I'm gonna fucking murder him, okay? okay? He better not show his face, man. James. I ain't playing. Because if you stay at this anger, I'm sure they'll be fine. Yo, it's your fault that we even up here in the first place, so shut your All mouth. Right, he's I, joking. It was a joke. That what he said about me wasn't no fucking joke. This whole shit ain't funny. Jameson. Just chill. Let's go. Y'all tripping. Y'all, all oh, y'all tripping. Go. Is he still out there? Take him on a walk, please. Fuck. That is not how I imagined the start of this trip going. Thought it was going okay, till the psycho and the Rick Poncho showed up. Richard, is anything anyone's saying getting through to you? Yeah. As much as it can right now, I guess. But what does that even mean? It's either getting through to you or it's not. I don't know what you want me to say. I know that my actions have... have hurt you and everyone else. And all my bullshit has affected everyone, and that sucks. Because up until this point, I've... I've just ignored it. Okay. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, it's good that you're aware of that now. Oh, Kayla, I... For what it's worth, I am sorry. I know I haven't been sober long enough to have a coherent conversation. And I can't promise what's going to happen, but... I'm going to try my best. That's all I can ask for, sweetheart. I'm going to go see a man about a horse. Okay. You do that. And be careful of the psycho hit. He's long gone. Mean to startle you. It's okay, man. It's just... You were super weird over there, and now you're sneaking up on me. <sighs> well, the father requires a ritual when a sacrifice is to be made. The cleansing of inequity and shame cannot happen unless one is willing. <sighs> yeah. See, that's the weird part. Look, I'm, I'm super happy that you found your purpose. In meetings, they talk about a higher power, and I'm never listening. But maybe I should listen, you know? My brother, I'm so happy to hear that. <sighs> Only through me does one reach the Father. <sighs> Oh, Father, oh, I speak to you on all kinds of mediums today. I found the people you sent me for. 
They did not receive my message. But Father, fear not. I will extend it to them through any means necessary so that your grace, your grace may lay upon the land like a blanket upon the babe. Oh, Father, I will make you proud. I will make you proud. I am really happy with how everything is going so far and how everyone has shared. And um, I just hope when you watch this that you can see all of that and it will help you. And... That last conversation we had, it was really beautiful. And I could see the humanity that you've had. And I could see the man that I fell in love with. And I just hope that, um, I hope that this will help you come out a better person. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm just talking to the camera. Yeah, I heard you. I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just hoping that this would fix him, you know? I just, I just want him back. Tall order. <laughs> um, maybe we shouldn't hope that this fixes him, but... Maybe we hope that it gives him the perspective so he can fix himself. Can I ask you, David, why is it that you stuck around? Yeah. I mean, I've seen the way Richard has treated you. I just, uh, why do you stay? I guess I'm like you. Um, I've always seen the good and rich. And I've always been a fan of the underdog. And there's no one more <laughs> under than rich. <laughs> He is an underdog, isn't he? Yeah. <sighs> but he wasn't always like that, you know? It was like he brought this upon himself. No, I mean, this what makes him endearing, you know? The guy that wasn't a fuck-up who became a fuck-up because he wanted to be a fuck-up. Do you really think he decided to be one, though? No. No. I think addiction is a disease. And I think addiction decided that for you. And you don't realize it until it's too late. <laughs> Yeah, that is some greeting card stuff right there. Yeah, well, let's hope that he can realize that he's loved and what he stands to lose. Anyway, I'm going to go to sleep for real this time. Uh, why? Why so early? I mean, look, the stars, it's incredible, and I'm all alone out here. Stars. Yes, I know, but I, I got about three hours of sleep last night, and Rich is just exhausting, so I'm just going to... Put some music in my ears and tune out the world. Um, but if you need anything, I'm right there. Thank you. Yeah. Good, Good night. night. Sweet dreams. Good thing we're not all right here, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, it could be worse. I know that. <laughs>
How blind can you be? Uh, how long has he been gone? Long enough to take some pills or down a bottle of God knows what? Dana, stop it. Okay, stop it. Right, I checked him and all his stuff before we came up here. You check everywhere. Yeah, because, I mean, what, he ain't been able to get none past you before? Look, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this dude Richard done smuggled some, some shit over here, all right? And he probably in the forest somewhere getting hot right now. Yeah, probably uh, smuggle it in his butt. And that's <laughs> Richard. That's, that's what Richard, he man. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, he's so gross. <laughs> Babe, I know you want this to work, I, I, obviously, but if he just went to pee, he'd be back by now. Thanks. I told you this before we left. I wish you weren't right. <sighs> Maybe. All right, that's Richard. That's what he'd do. We came up here for nothing. Nope. I don't want to leave you alone. It's fine, babe. It's here. Okay. Have fun. God damn it, Richard. We gonna make it, huh? Yeah. Long day. Kind of what we expected, right? I really wish we weren't right. But, like, what else is he usually doing when he's gone that long? Same old same, man. But I don't know, man. Maybe we just being assholes. He might have just went off to just reflect on everything. I mean, maybe. No, probably not, though. Yeah. yeah. You know how many times I've had to talk my sister off the ledge? I bet, man. Richard is a handful. <laughs> I mean, on a good day, and he don't have many good days. Yeah, like, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> so how did your sister get you out here? Like, how does she keep roping you in this stuff? Um, well, the same vicious cycle usually starts. Mm -hmm. um, I ignore her phone calls. Okay. Then she starts blowing up my phone. Mm. And then she leaves some kind of sensational message like, hey, I'm going to go search some um, encampments and alleys and <laughs> like by myself. Yeah. I can't let my sister trudge through the darkest parts of LA by herself. Mm. So I go with her. You know? She loves him. She wants to fight for him. So all I can really do is just be here until she sees reason. <sighs> she got good intentions, man. I, I, I honestly think Rich could get sober. It ain't gonna happen on this trip. What about you, yo? That was a little uh, aggressive back there. You get a little triggered by that freaky weirdo? Uh, it was barely even about that. I ain't like that he just ran up on us like that. That wasn't cool. I think you gotta give that off, like a Chandler on Friends vibe. Yeah, maybe, maybe what he said was true. And, and that, I mean, that's why I was pissed off, but I you was know, screw it, man. Hey, look, the truth hurt. I hurt him, you know? Fuck it, the universe is even. Maybe I should try that. More fist fights. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the humor, the humor covering oh. up the hurt and the anger. Yeah, then maybe my sister wouldn't think I was such a bitch. Kayla don't think that. Are you sure about that? I don't think that. You know? No. I think you are kind, caring, and beautiful. Wow. Oh. What was that? Hey, hello? Hello? Yo, hey, get hold up. Yo, let's get the crew. Nah, 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 fuck that. Okay, no, these hey. woods would be better with numbers. Fuck that. Hey, yo, Rich, if you if you playing games out here, man, I'm going to beat your ass. That does not sound like Richard. Chill out. Uh, I got this. You just wait here. Yo, right? Jameson, please, 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 can we just go back and get everybody? I like, don't have a girl. Girl, look. I never like to go out here. Baby girl, girl, you see me? Look, I'm big. I see it. <laughs> I ain't going to get taken down by some weirdo on a damn poncho or All right. Rich. You do what you got to do. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, stop playing around. Come on out. Hey, show your face. Let's do it. Man, Ricky, stop playing, dog. Big Ricky. Jameson? Jameson. Oh, my. Jameson, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, he's dead, 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 oh,
David? David, are you still awake? Richard's been gone and... Oh. <laughs> Do you like my work? What have you done? Oh. I've purified the impure. Fulfilling the purpose that my father sent me forth to do. Oh, and I'm so excited. I'm so close. I've never felt fulfillment like this before. I just, I knew, I knew, I knew that if I listened long enough, hard enough, that well, I'd be shown the path to my fulfillment. <laughs> now it's just you. You're the last one. The lost sheep. <laughs> oh, darling, it's time for you to return to the shepherd by the grace of my red <laughs> right hand. What are you doing? He'll be joining them soon. It's okay.